You can have if Ron DeSantis ran as a Democrat, Bill Maher would vote for him. He's not voting for Ron DeSantis as a Republican. He will never, ever, ever vote uh, for a Republican. All right, let's do that. First one. up, he is the governor of Florida, who is wow, currently on our show. Cur <laughs> currently, you make a gas giant joke. Yes, dude, I've been popping on with boomer jokes all day today. I don't know if you guys noticed. Voting to be the Republican nominee for president in 2024, Governor Ron DeSantis. <laughs> All right. On a scale of nine to ten, what'd you think of my monologue? <laughs> Honestly, I was laughing. I'll give you that. Right. Laughing well, on both sides of the aisle, too. So it was good. And yeah. welcome back to the show. I know you guys oh, were on hiatus for a while. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Now, I do, I do got to put in a plug. Like, if you ever have problems in California, you know, in Florida, not only do we have no income tax, no vax mandates allowed in the state of Florida. Well, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Um, I know, but people do wear cowboy boots with a suit. That's right. So I'm not going to fly. Okay, I, that's, uh, that's just a crazy it, thing. We're to, proud of it. But, but there were no cowboys in Florida, Ron. Oh, no, yeah, you should try Florida. We're one of the top cattle states in, in America. Once really? you go from the beach, you go to the interior of Florida, nothing but cattle ranches. Oh. All right, well, yeah. I, I, I stand corrected. <laughs> because I'm wearing orthopedic shoes. There you go. <laughs> okay, so the debate. I, I, it was a shit show, but I... <laughs> right, I mean, even you said you wouldn't have... You would have turned it off if you were watching. I mean, people screaming over each other. I couldn't hear what anyone was saying. It was terrible. But I heard you won. I heard the polling said you won. What did you win? With Trump... <laughs> no, honestly, with Trump not in the race, what did you win? Well, but I think that... <sighs> they're they're having a mid off. I mean, look at these fucking little booties, dude. That, oh my God, uh -huh. every part of this sucks so much ass. Uh, you know, this interview aired on September 29th when Ron DeSantis was polling around 15 percent, and now he's polling around 12 percent. So debates have not really helped Ron DeSantis. While in the same time frame, Trump has gone from polling at around 55% to now polling at 62%, maintaining a huge lead above everyone else. Trump was missing in every single debate, but despite this, his popularity is consistently rising in the Republican Party. He, he, he's not showing up. He's missing in action. He owes it to voters to show up and defend his record. And I think he thinks he can take a juice poll and then people don't get to vote. That's not the way the system so Maher is a straight Democrat, okay? Let's keep it real. Uh, he is a petulant, annoying, asinine, out of control, loves the fucking smell of his own farts piece of shit, but he is a Democrat, okay? So probably the real reason why he's propping DeSantis up is because he thinks Trump is definitely going to win, which is understandable because, you know, it looks to be the case. And he wants to, like, at the very least you know, pull his own weight in the battle and try to push DeSantis a little bit more so there's, like, more of a chaos in the Republican primaries. So he is unbearable and annoying, but he is still very much not a Ron DeSantis fan, okay? Like, I, I, I'll, I'll keep it real. Like, there is no way... In his own mind, he probably thinks he's, like, splitting the votes in the primaries or something, and that's why he's pushing for it. There's no shot. Like, Ron DeSantis will, or, or not Ron DeSantis, Bill Maher will have, like, the worst Republican psychopath on, okay, like Ann Coulter, and they'll have a back and forth and, like, laugh about it or whatever. But ultimately, he's a Democrat. Like, he's 100%, like, a very annoying Democrat. You don't think he can slowly turn into a Republican over the years? Why? Why would he? He's at least smart enough to understand that the Democrats have his best interest in heart. And on top of that, he doesn't care about, like, I don't know, executing gay people or some shit. Like, he's the, he's the motherfucker who's just, like, stuck in, like, 90s, in the 90s, mentally, okay? Where he, he just straight up is like, no, nah, I'm a Democrat. I, I, I know that, like, my material interests are, are being defended by the Democratic Party because they are. But also, at the same time, I think these, like, kids need to shut the fuck up and get back to work and cut it with this, like, trans shit and gay shit. Um, and um, I don't know. He, he, yeah, he's like a Bill Clinton Democrat. Exactly. And, of course, despite his, like, insane transphobia, 
Um, I think he is uh, the type of he's the type of guy who's like, I'm transphobic for scientific reasons. You're transphobic for religious reasons, and that's a major distinction between you and I. And I actually hate you for it because I am the good kind of transphobe. You are the bad kind of transphobe. Like that's the type of that's the type of dumbass he is. Yeah, he loves Obama. He donated like one million dollars like that. He is definitely. That is kind of a weird for a Democrat to be against all social positions. No, he's not. He's not a no. That's not weird at all. What do you mean? No, he's like I hate identity politics. I hate how much like people talk about fucking social shit. Uh, who gives a fuck? Uh, I you know we should attack uh, religion, and that's the worst thing that could have ever happened. He is very much so a uh, a a. Centrist Democrat. That's what he is. Just yesterday, Bill Maher posted a stand-up bit about the rich getting richer and how they do not create jobs, but they eliminate jobs. This is not what you will hear from your average Republican. You know, this nonsense about let's give all the money to the rich people. They create jobs. No, they don't. They eliminate jobs. That's how they get richer. They're not interested in creating jobs. They're interested in creating wealth for themselves. You read about these pricks with their $1,000 shower curtains and their private jets and their gold faucets. I'm going to have to disagree with this one. I'm 100% correct on this. If you think Bill Maher would ever vote for the Republican Party, you are wrong, okay? He will say all of this shit that basically, basically seems like he's just like a psychotic Republican, and at the end of the day, he will literally vote he will never vote for the Republican Party. Never. Nope. Nope. I, I know for a fucking fact he would never, ever vote for the Republican Party. 100% he voted for Rick Caruso. Hey, Rick Caruso ran as a Democrat. You can have, if Ron DeSantis ran as a Democrat, Bill Maher would vote for him. He's not voting for Ron DeSantis as a Republican. He will never, ever, ever vote uh, for a Republican. The only person, yeah, the only person that he would vote against might be Bernie. Some works. You got to go earn votes. So I'm showing up. I'm showing that. And that's here's the thing. In, in the midst of all the show. Yeah. Chad needs to understand that most Dems are libs and not leftists like them. And Bill Maher is closer to the average voter than you are, chat. Like, it's not an accident that his show is actually pretty fucking popular still. It sucks, but it is the case. Old people vote. People with money vote. Think about your fucking parents. Think about your libtard parents. Okay. Think about them. They probably have a lot of opinions that resemble Bill Maher. Maybe not as annoying, but no fucking shot. No, nah, they, yeah, they love voting. And they are, they're lifelong, like, he, Bill Maher's a lifelong Democrat, dude. No shot. Bill Maher would never vote Republican out of aesthetic reasons. Bill Maher is the most annoying type of Democrat in many respects, okay? He is the, the classic elite coastal libtard, Okay who thinks that he is doing the right thing by voting Democrat every single election, even if their values don't align. And in some ways he is right because marginally Democrats are better, right? But he's not even making that calculation on the margins. He's making that calculation because Republicans are stupid, okay? He is the classic, like, every Republican is a podunk, cousin-fucking, backwater, dumbass, uh, idiot who is just like really religious and and wants to turn the country into a fucking religious uh, theocracy and I mean the, the religious fundamentalist part is like you know that is correct he's accidentally correct on that but yeah he is like very much a West Wing Democrat exactly a Bush era liberal yes he's too much of an elitist he's too much of an elitist to fucking vote uh, he's so much of an elitist to fucking vote for the Republican Party. He thinks like, you know, the Republican Party just smells bad. Show that happened. I was the one guy that people said, you know what, this guy's actually acting like a president when the rest were not. And so, okay, there I am. Mm. I told Donald, let's do a debate. Uh, I'm debating your governor. Oh yeah, no, he in the unions, he's in the minority. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about like every single voter. I'm talking about like specific, like your dad. Okay, if you're on Twitch. And you you have a liberal parent, like your liberal parent is probably going to be kind of uh, on a lot of issues, especially social ones. He's probably going to be closer to Bill Maher than you, right? Um, but you're right on union issues. He's in the minority for sure. Um, yeah. Um, overall, 
Mayor Gavin Newsom. We're going to get soon, to that. But let's do a debate okay. with me and him. I'll but do the, it. All right. But this, can I ask you one thing about these debates? Can you get rid of this guy, Doug? Also, you went to a sex party with Bill Maher? No, I didn't go to a sex party with Bill Maher. What the fuck? You weirdo? No. The girl I was hooking up with at the time went to a sex party with Bill Maher. Very different distinction. No, I don't like sex parties. I think they're weird and smelly. Explain. I've talked about this before. Bergam. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this bugs me. He is not going to be president. This guy could start dating Taylor Swift. No one would care. <laughs> North Dakota. It's not even this guy. All right. But, you know, the thing is, you did not take my advice. What was it? I was on this show a few times when we talked. I said, this guy's crazy to run this time. He's, what are you, 45 years old? Yeah. You just had a birthday, right? Yeah. You could run for the next 20 years if you were Biden the next 40. <laughs> okay, why run against Trump? You're trying to thread this needle that will never happen. Well, for a couple you, reasons. You, you, can't, you can't disavow what? him because you, that's the base, and yet you're running against him. And that's why, I mean, let's face it, Ron. If this if campaign was going well, you wouldn't be on this show. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> um, no. So, um, one, I don't think he can win the election. Uh, I could win the election. Two, I don't think... God, he is... Dude, Ron DeRizlis is so fucking devoid of charisma that he makes Bill Maher look like a god in comparison. Like, I despise Bill Maher, okay? I hate him. But god damn, dude. Ron is so fucking bad in front of him where he's like, ah, I could beat him that, like, Bill looks like the coolest guy, okay? He's doing the fucking Piers Morgan technique. <clears throat> he's doing the Piers Morgan, dude. Have a guy who is, like, infinitely less charismatic than me so that I can look good in comparison. I think he could actually get the job done that we need to do. For example, COVID. I think we need accountability for what this government did to this country with the COVID restrictions, mandates, and lockdowns. Donald Trump is not going to do that. He says he did everything right. Who's he clapping? says he saved millions of lives with lockdowns. He claims his MNRA shot saved 100 million lives. He's not going to clean house at CDC, NIH, FDA, or any of that. I will do that. I will get the job done. And a lot of other things we do. The one thing about... <laughs> He's going to rehire... Uh, Antonio Fauci so we can fucking kill him. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I hate the, the vaccines that I definitely got because my cancer wife was dying of cancer and I was fucking terrified of giving COVID to my cancer wife. Uh, but I will now act like I hated the vaccines even though I did a distribution uh, protocol set up in Florida because my entire fucking state is full of geriatrics who would have died just like my cancer wife would have died from fucking COVID. Ah, ah, bitch, you got the fucking vaccines and you distributed them in Florida to all the rich white folk, at least. Crime wife or cancer wife? Crime wife every time. Armenian crime wife, Trump's cancer wife in that situation. Unless the cancer wife is also doing crime. It doesn't have to be cancer related. Me in Florida and even my critics will acknowledge. Why are you calling her cancer wife? It, it's just funny. Like, what do you mean? Because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's the reason why he got the COVID. Uh, that's the reason why he got the vaccines because his wife had cancer at the time and he didn't want her to fucking die, understandably. If he says he's going to do something, he will follow through and get the job done. So it's about the country. Are we going to get the country turned around or not? I don't think he's a vehicle that, that's doing. And, and I have been, when, when I supported him on, on the things I liked, I've said it, but I've been critical about the things that he didn't do and I'll well, continue to do that. <laughs> cancer is not a joke though. Thank you, Chatter, for the brave take. You're right. Me, on the other hand, I was I was taking the the road less uh, the the less beaten path here and saying, nah, cancer is actually great. <laughs> Chatter really came in here and said, "Fuck cancer, dog." Hey, hey, yo, fuck cancer. Okay, but you. <laughs> Wait, what did he fucking say? He will follow through and get the job done. So it's about the country. Are we going to get the country turned around or not? I don't think he's a vehicle that, that's doing. And, and I have been, when, when I supported him on, on the things I liked, I've said it, but I've been critical about the things that he didn't do, and I'll well, continue to do that. Okay, but you... Okay, you know what's funny? I'm beginning to think that absolutely zero people want to watch Bill Maher now. So, like, the, the audience is just Ron DeSantis staffers. Because 
the Bill Maher, uh, the Bill Maher live audience in fucking Los Angeles, California, no shot they're clapping for this. But you campaigned for, for election deniers in 2022. This I do not forgive. Well, to look. quote the Godfather. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, Carrie Lake, who said Biden is an illegitimate president. Trump didn't. Well, now she's attacking me, so maybe I did make a mistake there, because uh, she's out there saying, she, she's you, trying to say that we mandated vax in Florida. We did the opposite. We protected people even from private mandates. So, so, so that may have been. But Trump but, lost the election, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So why did you campaign for people who Because I wanted to see Republicans win key races. And I think it's important. That's not a deal breaker issue for you? That's not democracy? Well, okay, well, let's go back to 2016. Uh, your friends in Hollywood were cutting ads telling the Electoral College to, to vote against Trump in, in the Electoral College because it was stolen. They said Russia stole the election. For years they said that. So don't act like this is like okay. a unique well, thing in modern history of the country. First... Dude, what the fuck? No, that's not... Guys, how is this a... Com God, I, I hate liberals so much. And Ron DeSantis certainly is being a lib here. Like, there, oh, God. Yeah, dude, it was crazy when Hillary Clinton did January's. All the Cl Hillary Clinton supporters put on their pink pussy hats and did January, <laughs> did January 6th because, you know, Hillary Clinton never conceded. What Hillary Clinton and the Democrats did in 2016 is not at all comparable to what Trump has done. She immediately conceded the election to Donald Trump. Trump has wasted millions of dollars of taxpayer money because of his election denial. Trump and his allies filed 62 cases but lost 61 of them. What Trump did is much more worse than what the Democrats have done. If you enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.